So here we go then, it is going to be Chenica from that far end, Latvia in yellow, Switzerland in red, semi-final one underway. Onto the antenna, so Latvia getting the first point. And Hubeli does well. Bedsyard also waiting for that one to come back off the net. Bad shot. Just dot back over, so chance here for Switzerland, but they can't take it. Down the line. It's long though. Well, the flag went up with the overall from the side or from the number one umpire, and that's touched by Klavchenica. Rolled down the line, but rolled wide. Switch the lead for the first time. He believes, serves to Graudina. Now Graudina with the cut shots. Service error. And the first side switch, it's Switzerland in front, 4 3. A shot. She too comes up with the service error. Gardina goes to bed shot. Hubeli running away from the net. Does well. Good advantage with Latvia. Back set. And good finish from Graudina. Service error. Oh, service error following service error here. In the Swiss pair. So I mentioned only one one semi final. That was the Baden one star back in August last year. Went on to take the gold medal there. Oh, the chance was there for Bed Shot, but that's a, a bad miss. Oh, good get from Graudina. That's excellent work. 
And then it's wide. Well, that is all down to the athleticism of Tina Graudina. What a dig that was. And the Swiss are really misfiring here. And Switzerland decided to call the timeout because it's unraveled at the start of this first set. Well, the Swiss pair won Pool B, beating Sweat and Walsh Jennings and no presence Silva. And then had two games yesterday against Heidrich and Berger de Pre. And there were Swiss counterparts from that in straight sets and then beat uh, uh, Kaiser and Mepelink of the Netherlands in straight sets as well. So they only played two games yesterday because they won their pool, whereas the Latvians uh, came second in Pool G and ended up playing three games yesterday. Uh, the first two were straight sets wins over Lobato and Navarro of Spain and Binek and Schneider of Germany. They're up against Bansley and Wilkinson of Canada. The Latvians lost the first set and then came back 21-18, 15-11 to win in 51 minutes. A long day yesterday and they've got another two games today. Another miss. It's another miss. And having been 4 3 up, the first side switch, Switzerland now 5 9 down. And Nina Betchart is having real difficulty with her radar. Here you can see those runner points. And they're going to ask the question of Betshart, and again, it's another point. Well, when things don't go your way, it can be a little harsh, and Betshart being exposed right now. Well, a change of tactic. Not sure if that was intentional, if that was a misplaced serve, but seems a strange choice given Betshart had been struggling so much. Over on the second ball from Graudina. Can get that. Best shards with a morale boosting rally. Yeah, well finished. Nice height on the set, and Graudina fading to the left and finding the unguarded sand. Jenica, now they go to Bedshard once more. Bedshard finds the roll winner. Seen that a couple of times, and at the technical timeouts, Switzerland have got it back to a three point deficit. And they trail 9 12, but more importantly for them, Nina Betchart seems to have got her game back under control. Just 
the chance to recalibrate and go again in the second half of this opening set. You know, they won the Baden one star back in August of uh, 2020. They'd have uh, lost six semi-finals and have finished up with the bronze medal on four occasions, the Swiss pair. Klagenfurt in July 2016, Porich, June 2017, Hague, January 2018, and Moscow, August 2018. And then agonizingly short of the World Championships in 2019, where they finished fourth cruel at the World Championships. And Gustard, five star, also in July 2019. So, heartbreaking month for the Swiss pair a couple of years back. Yeah, Betchard. Back in business here. Nope. And Switzerland have overcome their little blip. Oh, cunningly done by Kravchenica. Going over on the set. I just couldn't quite get that. Yeah, good power. That shot definitely firing again. Body language that much more positive than it was at the start of this first set. Cardina can't quite make the block. Jubilee yeah. hasn't seen too much action. Recently, and just gets our bearings all wrong behind the net, and we get to the business end of this first set. Latvia in front by two. That run of four points just bringing Switzerland back into it. 12 7 to 12 11. And the service error. Gardina frustrated with herself. Yeah, good work. I thought that set might be a little close to the net. But they maintain this two point cushion as the pairs. Side out. She's missed it. She's missed it. Now, was it touched? No. Are they asking for a net?
and they go to bed shall have to. She's just missed one. But she gets that one on the line. Bedshard then gets a massive net cord to bring Switzerland to within one. Yeah, nicely done. And Switzerland have battled back and are level for the first time since five all in this set. Hoobly full of congratulations for her teammate who serves now to Graudina. Graudina rolls down the line, but Sharp read that one pretty comfortably and then she cuts across court and from 14-17 down Switzerland now lead 18-17 not getting that one back and I was expecting the timeout and here it comes from Latvia now, have to dig deep. No, this is the penultimate event for Tokyo qualification. Ostrava next weekend is the final event. These two are already there, so no problems for them and what a get what a match that was against Tamanova and Slukova of the Czech Republic they were down 7-12 in the third and deciding set but stuck to task and battled back to win 17-15 big run of points for Switzerland has it come at a crucial part of this first set? Bedshard to serve. Grandina off the block. Shot again, the recipient of the serve, and she rolls it into empty sand. And then the handling error gives Switzerland two set points. She's missed it on the cut for the first time of asking. It is the first set to Switzerland. What a turnaround. 17-14 Latvia led. But Switzerland wins seven of the last eight points to take the first set. 21-18. What a turnaround that was. Confirmation then. Hubli and Betschart take the first set.
Okay, so here we go. Second set underway, bed charts. To Gradina. Well, that set looks too close to the net. It is not too close to the net. It's over the net. confidence flowing now through the Swiss yeah nicely done that was well played by Gardina Janica does brillantly well. Now can she get back in time? Oh, she does, but she gets a touch on it. Good block, but it lands out. Yeah, nicely done. Um, what a difference. Half an hour or so, mates. Not even 20 minutes. Betcha was really struggling in that first set. Radina coming up with the play. Just off us, offset herself a little bit to the right. And love you back to within one.
he says, I can replay that to you. Nicely done. Gardino gets that roll all wrong. Oh, she's tried that once already. Bedshard aware to it this time. And then off the attempted block of Jenica. So, Latvia, call the time out. Can they find a way back into this? Can they do to Switzerland what Switzerland did to them in the first set? Big run of points, just taking it away from Latvia. Latvia need to respond here. from Gradina, but Betshelp was right there. Yeah! And Betshelp <laughs> rifles one. Klavchenica. Uh, <laughs> I've missed, didn't get the touch on the way through. Oh, it did. Did get a touch on the way through that previous point. Oh, that's what they need, a couple of points. Oh, what a gap that is. Kravchenica. And there's a block. Dina Graudina makes it three points in a row for Latvia. Oh, good reaction through Gaudina. Can she finish? Oh, oh yes, she can. Brilliant rally. And the reactions were fantastic from Gaudina to keep the initial ball alive. Well, ahead for the technical timeout, training by three Latvia, but it could have been an awful lot worse were it not for 
That's a big run of points just before Jelicat and Gaudino have already used their time out in this set. Need a really strong finish to set two. Well, we've seen the team that struggled at the start of the set come back to win. Is this going to repeat itself in the second set? These two, the Swiss pair, didn't start particularly well, especially Nina Betschard here, but she's recovered brilliantly. The Swiss eighth in the running for a spot in Tokyo, so they're looking like oh, they will be going. So Hubli to get us back underway. I think as well to keep that alive. Apologies for the loss of pitches, technical issues on site. Switzerland with a two point lead, which now becomes a three point lead. Get the touch. Yes, it did. Off Hooverly. Yeah. Unlucky from Kravchenko. Good. Uh, Reactions to get down, but she couldn't control the pace from Tanya Hubeli. To within two. Just long.
still tight. There's definitely advantage Switzerland here as they look to make their second gold medal match. And back off the net cord. Four points for a place in the final. And another good block. From Hubeli. And it's a big mountain to climb now for the Latvians. Not impossible. We've seen runs of points in this match already. That would uh, bring this back. One thing doing it. And the pressure of defeat is not upon you to when it is. And Kravchenica just gets it wrong at the end. A great rally. Swiss are now two points away from the gold medal match. Just at the end, couldn't find the angle. Bechard goes to Kraldina. Kraldina pokes to so get the back of the line. And keep it alive a while longer. Oh, that's a fine finish. That is a big finish from Betjard. And at the side switch, Switzerland have five match points. Lavia up against it now. Switzerland got their nose in front at 17 all in the first set. Since then, they've been in control. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> First match point on the Latvian serve, though. We go to Bedshart. That sharp with a little dink, it finds the line, and it's all over at the second time of asking. Switzerland booked their place in the gold medal match of the Sochi Four Star. Having lost their first six semi finals, they've won their last two, and they get a chance to shoot for gold later on today here in Russia. Excellent performance by them, especially hanging tough in that. First set when they were behind, and they are through straight sets. Hubli and Bedshot win 21 18.